Hello and welcome. It's Machine Day and I hope you're doing really, really well. It's going to be a really short video where I'm just going to explain what Lua or LUA scripts are for OBS Studio and exactly how you can install them. I'm also going to give you a little bit of a flavor of some of the things that Lua scripts can do as well. Now, I'm not a programmer. I'm not even very smart, but I've used Lua scripts for a couple of different things. For example, I've used them for having a clock counter on my stream before, and I've also more recently used Lua scripts to be able to kind of look at a file, and whenever that file changes, it will trigger something to happen on my stream. For example, and I'll link the video here once I've created it, because that's the next video that I'm going to be recording, a script that looks for album artwork, and every time that album artwork changes to like say for example a new song a new artwork it will trigger a source to appear for a temporary purpose and then disappear it's one of many many thousands of different uses that you can use Lua scripts for I do loads of OBS studio videos so if you're interested in that type of content hit the subscribe button because you're more than likely enjoy my channel without further ado let's do this So first off, what actually are Lua scripts? It's just basically like a lightweight programming language that allows further customization of supported applications. So any applications that allow Lua scripts to work within them, it allows extended functionality of those applications and it tends to work in an embedded way. So it's a little bit more lightweight and you can almost just like bolt on a new functionality that's almost like a standalone. Why this is useful for OBS Studio, instead of like a full blown plugin, which tends to be a lot more complicated, has a hell of a lot more kind of complicated functionalities that you would get with a plugin, Lua scripts tend to do stuff that's a little bit more rational often not quite as complicated and they're not as heavy load on the CPU as well and also often require a lot less support from the developers it's almost like a fire and forget or often they can just add a little bit more new functionality as people suggest that new functionality so in the example that I gave earlier I said the text trigger thing which will essentially look at a file if whenever there's a change it will then trigger a source to appear in OBS studio that's quite a cool function you can use that in loads of different ways but i'm using that to trigger an audio spectralizer to kind of appear show the album latest song that's being played and then to disappear but there's so many other applications that you can use this for in this example there's a little bit of extended functionality that will then appear inside of obs studio that will allow you to configure that to happen so there's loads of different Lua scripts available for obs studio you can browse around some of the things that you can do here on the obs studio i'll link it in the description below i'll also link that specific uh, text trigger one that I talked about as well below if you are interested in that particular functionality. So how do you install Lua scripts into OBS Studio? The way that you would do it is you need to locate first of all the script that you want and we need to go to the download page of that. Often this will take you off to some sort of GitHub or a downloadable Lua script page. And then we're normally downloading some sort of file, which is the Lua file itself. In this case, you can download it as a zip or the source code or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and download the actual script itself. So here we are inside that zip folder and we can see here there's a text trigger.lua. So I'm just gonna unpack that so that we've got the original file and so that it's not zipped. So now that we've got this original file, we need to install this in OBS and then I can show you where you can find it once it's installed within OBS. And by the way, it's at this point, I'll just say sometimes Lua files will link to multiple files as well. So often what you'll see within the download is not just the script, but you'll see files that link to that script. You just need to bear in mind that every installation of Lua may be slightly different. So you just follow the instructions of the developer where possible. I'm going to give you a general feel of how to install this now, which will point you in the right direction. Often you will just copy those other extended files into the same location. So I'm just going to right click on this now and I'm going to cut it. So I want to take this away here. Now it's at this point we need to locate where the scripting file is in your OBS installation. So I'm going to go into my program files and I'm going to show you here the default location. This is the default location for Windows, but you may have installed OBS to a slightly different location. So you just need to find the OBS-Studio file. Once you've found this folder, we need to go into data and you'd be tempted here to go into OBS scripting, but it's actually in the plugin section often. And we're then going to go into front end tools and script. And here we can paste in that file that we copied earlier and any associated files with it. So here, for example, there's a clock source that links to some different clock files that you can 
install into your OBS Studio. I've pasted in the text-trigger.lua file that we got from Squeak502. Thanks for developing a wonderful little script there. And this will now work within OBS Studio. You just need to be mindful you may need to close OBS Studio and reopen OBS Studio. So now within OBS Studio, you can simply go to Tools and Scripts, and we should see any of the scripts that you've installed in this section here. We can see here the text trigger at LUA here. Now, when we click on this and we can see it's who it's made by, we can see it's made by Squeak502. And we've now got the option to do all the different things that I talked about. For example, trigger on any change. Let's just extend this. Sometimes I have to extend the window. So we want to trigger on any change in file contents. I'm pointing to this snip file here, which is whenever the album name will change or the song name, and it will basically allow the visibility of a certain source to appear for a certain amount of time. If you want to look at how I've implemented this, it's quite a cool video. It's a very complicated pop-up widget that I've created within OBS Studio, and it shows like a now playing, the album artwork, the song, like a spectralizer, really cool thing. But there you go. That's exactly how you can install the Lua scripts into OBS Studio. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, make sure you send me some fan mail, and make sure you have a nice day. Uh, don't send me the fan mail. Please don't send me the fan mail. See you later.